Good morning, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1920 Southeast 122nd Avenue here in Portland. We're located uh, on the right side of the home. We're just around the uh, corner from the front right corner of the house. If you walk through that gate there, you'd be in the right, right around the front patio. We've got a three inch, a, or, uh, yeah, three inch ABS clean out here. Just around the corner. We're gonna check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Water is running, off we go. And I zeroed out the foot counter there at the base of the clean out. Right out of the gate, very, very clean sewer line. That is exactly how you want your line to look right there. This is a fantastic example of people that are not dumping all their cooking oil and grease down the line. Got a little bit of a belly there, right at the base of that drop, and it's just that, it's a little belly. That's gonna drain out to a spot there that's all of about a foot in length and probably is holding, only holding maybe a quarter inch or so of water. Got potentially a little more significant spot here we're coming up on. We'll see though. Yeah, another one, another another tiny little belly there. And we're running water right now, which is going to exaggerate any amount of standing water we see. So we'll take a look at these. A better look at them when the line's drained out here in a moment. So I got some wipes or something down the line here. I gotta get the stuff to move out of here. So this right here looks like right where the line, that's a really tight turn that. That turn is just wonky looking. You know, we're gonna take a second look at that on the way out. The way that that was put together is just, that turn is so tight. It's, it's like almost, I don't even know if they used a turn piece like a 90 degree turn piece. It's... Anyway, we're gonna take a second look at that on the way out there. There was some debris hanging up right at the end. Some of it looked like improper stuff, like wipes. Um, I guess my concern with that is, it's just, you just about run into a wall. I mean, it obviously dumps into the main just past that point. Like it's so tight, I don't even wanna push my camera through that all the way. Um, but right there, just past that, is the Y connection onto the main line that runs down the middle of this place. So we're gonna go locate really quick here while the pipe drains, and we'll take another look at things. All right, I did put a marking down here. The line basically runs in a straight shot. It's, it veers a little bit off course, but you know, if you were to draw an imaginary straight line from the clean out to the uh, middle of the little driveway road out here, that's basically the, line, the route the line takes. And you see, you'll see a little green paint marking out there. Yeah, the way this is put together, I mean, I've cameraed about 24 or 5,000 sewer lines at this point in my career, about 13 years doing this. The way this turn is just so tight, it's, it's kind of odd. It's almost like the piece of ABS is able to slip past the, like a coupler that didn't have a uh, rib inside of it to prevent that. Because normally your, your sweep on this should be quite a bit bigger than that. You know, for a turn piece like this to function right, your ABS pipe would have had to stop back right here, and then it would be PVC from this point, so you have a nice smooth sweep. This is, I mean, it turns into it. I'm not saying it's not gonna function. It's just, it's one of those locations, you can see how there, there was some debris sitting right there right as we approached that location. Granted, some of it may have been some wipes or something of that nature. Most of the line is very clean. Um, but you, you've got kind of a wall there for things to run into. So it, it, it would mostly be a situ, uh, an issue potentially under certain circumstances. Like if you've got little kids in the household that are wadding up pretty large items and putting it down line, that's mostly where I, could, I would foresee that potentially being some kind of issue where you've just got large stuff that's not gonna round a very, very tight bend like that terribly easy. And it's, it's kind of a, it's a hard call to make because I mean, although we do have some debris hanging up there, I'm not seeing a lot of buildup throughout the line that tells me it's necessarily causing backups and blockages. This belly real quick, by the way, not one I'd recommend a repair on, it's rinky dink. Uh, you're, you're barely, you've got somewhere between a 16th and a quarter inch of standing water here. That's not a belly I would recommend fixing. It's way too small. I don't even consider repairs on bellies till there's at least an inch of water. 
that joint right there is a partial separation, but the joint does not show signs of being open to the ground. That's a, looks like a joint there that did not get, the pipe ends didn't get slammed home all the way up against each other when they first put the line together, but the joint appears to all be closed off to the ground. And then here at 18 feet, we've got another one. And this, this thing is, I mean, teeny, tiny little thing. 17 to 18 feet. And again, about the same thing. It's about a quarter inch of water. You got you. You do have a deformation though in on the side of the screen there. I am going to locate this. It almost looks like the pipe might be resting on a rock. That plastic there. I mean, it's coming to a point, and it looks like you're starting to get some stress lines in it, like the plastic is cracking. All right, this is in the front yard area. I've also marked this. You're about four foot, seven inches deep here. My concern is that that's gonna perforate through at some point. Uh, you've got stress lines forming. You know, usually when I see deformations and the plastic is still black, you know, and or whatever its natural color is, um, when I start seeing stress lines like that, you know, it's like when you take a black fork, you know, bend it enough times, it starts to turn white before it breaks. My concern is that that is something that could perforate through at some point. As it sits right now, it's really not doing much to affect functionality. Um, but it is something that may very well come home to roost as time goes on. As that plastic ages, um, sometimes this stuff is progressive and it's a slow but sure thing that, that takes some time. So, you know, if it's not repaired, it's something I would certainly keep my eye on. Um, you know, and then you've got the oddity there with that, the connection at the end of the line. And, and real quick, I just turned around, we're back through the foundation wall. Everything from that point forward is all exposed piping in the crawl space. Home inspector takes a look at that stuff. And going backwards there, uh, I mean, whoever's living here is doing a great job of treating this line nicely. Some, some people clean their lines up before the sale to make them look better. Um, this is a house, doesn't appear that that's done because normally if a, if a line gets cleaned like that, it's only the exterior. You go backwards, you get to see the natural state of things and, and this thing is spotless end to end. So it's a, it's a house that's doing a good job not dumping all the bacon grease and cooking oil down the sink, which is a, a big issue, causes a lot of problems. I like to point it out when people are doing things right. Um, anyhow, so as we sit, we've got some, you've got some issues as far as, you know, a deformation at about 18 feet. The bellies are super minor. That's nothing I'm concerned about at all. They're way too small to cause blockages on their own. You'd have to help it along a great deal as the homeowner. Um, by that, I mean putting abusive items down the sewer line. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the connection at the main there. That turn is so tight um, that it could theoretically cause debris to hang up. There was some stuff hanging up in the end of the line there. Whether it's related to the way that the pipe is configured at the end, is hard. that's what's hard to say. Um, I'd have to look at this thing you know, multiple times over years to see if that same occurrence happens every time debris goes down line. Uh, but it, it could. By and large, proper items, folded toilet paper, stuff like that, is going to likely scoot through that area with little issue. It's larger stuff, like what kids put down the line, balled up toilet paper, things like that, that may struggle to get around that turn. The plus side is, is if you do end up with a blockage there, this is mostly related to proper items like toilet paper. If water starts to build up behind that, it's very likely the head pressure will just push stuff straight into the main. Um, because it, we're, we're talking six inches away from the main lateral connection there. Luckily, it's the very end of the sewer line. That's the best spot for something like that to be. Um, so from the, for the most part, I'm not seeing a lot of strong evidence of blockages occurring there, but it does look like it was improperly configured when it was put together. The, the sweep on that turn should be much bigger. Uh, it should not be that tight. You, have, you basically have a wall for things to run into. Uh, and then make a very hard turn to drop into the main. So the, the, the thing that I, I'm liking about this is you're dropping into the main within just a few inches of actually getting past that, that very hard turn there in the line. So uh, right now, being that I can't even recommend drain cleaning on the sewer line, I'm at a point right now where I'm gonna notate these things and talk about them, um, but I'm not seeing enough evidence in my opinion to warrant tearing everything out of the ground. The deformation there is a harder one. That's one that's we we just aren't going to know if it's ever going to turn into something that's going to that's going to cause a problem. That spot in the flow line there could very very well 
bust open at some point. It may never, but the likelihood is it will at some point do that, being that the plastic is, is stressed in multiple spots there and has turned white. That's the stage before the plastic splits. Um, knowing when that will happen is the hard part. As it sits right now, it's merely a little bit of a lump in the flow line that's doing nothing to affect functionality, um, but it could open up to the ground at some point, um, which can cause issues. You can get water escaping and or intruding into the line, leading to hydro erosion issues where the line will settle. Um, you know, possibly roots if there's any foliage in the area close enough to do so. But, you know, right now we have adequate flow of the main lateral. Based on what I see here, based on the cleanliness of the sewer line, I'm not seeing any evidence or strong evidence whatsoever you're getting any kind of recurring blockage situations or anything like that going on here based on what I see. So that's my reasoning as it sits right now for not recommending a fix on it. But it is something to be mindful of. Uh, make sure you're, you're not putting abusive items down the line, wipes, paper towels, things like that. As the line sits, it is functioning at this time. And, and, and right now, the pipe all appears to be intact, albeit you do have a spot there that's getting stressed. The plastic there still appears to be intact right now.